Did you know that Jesus only gave one command? In all of his ministry, he only gave one new commandment. He came to reinforce the law of God that had been given through the prophets before him. But he came and he personally only instituted one command. Boy, I think if Jesus only gave one command, that's pretty important. Let's look at what he said in John chapter 13. He says this, a new command I give to you. This was at the Last Supper. Love one another. You say, well, that's not a new commandment, right? We hear that uh, in all of the Old Testament scripture. He says, this is the change. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. And then he says, by this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Now you may be thinking, man, I've heard it said before, love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. Great, but Jesus said that is the greatest in all of the law. He said, but I'm gonna give you a new metric because we can struggle and we can love God with everything that we want. And it's still sometimes difficult to love our neighbor if we just try to do it in our own strength. But Jesus gives us the key. He says, as I have loved you, so you must love one another. What is Jesus doing? He's saying your love needs to come from a different source. There's only so much love that you can muster up in your own strength and your own power trying to white knuckle it. But if you'll receive the love of God and then let his love flow through you, you will be able to love others as Jesus loved us. How did he love us? He gave himself for us. He gives first, he gives best, he gives most. But how do we do that? By receiving first the love of God. So I just wanna encourage you today, wherever you are, the most important thing you could do is to receive God's love to really know, meditate, contemplate, reflect upon how much God loves you, just to receive it in your heart, in the deepest part of who you are. And when you know how much God loves you and how he loves you, then it's from that source that you'll be able to draw from to really demonstrate his love to others. And the way that other people will know you belong to God is not by how many times you go to church, how many verses you know in the Bible, but it's by the love that you show to someone else. It's not your love, but it's God's love flowing through you.